Okay, so um, we're going to start the new unit volume of a revolution, but I want to like just jump into the problem. And I want you to visually see what's going on and see how you can make, make these pictures yourself. So let's go to the question first. And it's a, sorry, the function f is defined by f of x equals x minus one squared, x is greater than one. And the function g is defined by g of x equals x squared plus one. Um, is greater than zero. The region R is bounded by the curves uh, y equals f of x, y equals g of x, and the lines y equals zero, x equals zero, and y equals nine, as shown in the diagram. So we can see like these are both parabolas. There's one on the right, there's one on the left. We can see the parabola on the left is g, the parabola on the right is f. They both like get cut off by like one and like one and one, and then at the top they both get like the maximum is nine. And the idea, so the, oh, let's see, the shape of the clay vase can be modeled by rotating this R through 363 degrees through the Y axis. Find the volume of clay used to make the vase. And so let me hide this. That's the visual. And so we're actually going to make this. We can make this using technology. It's not going to go look exactly like, so you can imagine like a thick, like a vase, like, a, like you've made it like all in, in pottery class. You know, it's, it's a vase with like a thick rim. And the question is, how much clay do we need to make that vase? And this is a cross section. So let's go to GeoGebra. So you're going, going to go to GeoGebra, but the 3D calculator. So it's GeoGebra slash 3D. Let's see if I can get this to work right. Okay. We have to make some settings. Let me close, let me close this. We have to do some settings first. First, first go to this gear and you're going to not show the plane. Next, you're going to go to this gear and then you're going to go down to settings and you're going to go to the Y axis and you're going to make uh, I'm sorry, in basic Y axis is vertical. Next, go to Y axis, um, scroll down, whoops, sorry, go to X axis. I apologize. On basic, y-axis vertical, and at the bottom, clipping so clipping box size, make that large. Oh, sorry. Um, and then go to x-axis, we're good. Go to z-axis, and I don't want to show the axis. Okay, and let's close that out. Okay. Now, the green is vertical. Remember that the green is Y green, Y green, Y green. So, but move it around. Like I, I'm not good at this for some reason. I'm just not, I don't know. One of those things, I'm just not good. And uh, we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Or let's zoom in. Oh. That's fine. Okay, let's put. Let's go to the input and let's put our functions in. So if you're called the f of, let's call f of x, that was open, we're gonna do x minus, oh, let's do open parentheses, x minus one, so we'll call shift six, so that's squared, or you can go down, sorry, you can go down here to the calculator, and uh, you know, I'm taking my face out, you can look, do that calculator, and there's the squared if you need it. A square root, we're going to need that a little bit. So or we can just close this. Good. Um, and then you're going to do comma, open parentheses, and we saw it's from one to four, right? Because if you go back to the image, the the parabola on the on the right starts at one and goes up to four. We're going to like we're not gonna have a perfect paper, obviously, but it's close enough so you can see what's going on. So we're going to go, um, let's go back to the line, comma, open parentheses, one, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to um, four. Good. Next line, we wanna put the G in, and we can see it went from about one to, it went up to nine, right? Yes, four minus one is squared is nine. Good. Um, now let's put the g of x in there. And so that's equal to, um, if you recall, x squared plus one. x squared plus one. That's the full parabola. I don't want the full 
parabola. So I want to start at zero. We can see from my diagram, we can see from the question, it starts at zero, but it goes up to like nine. So what's the X value that will take this function to nine? Well, X squared plus one equals nine, X squared equals eight. Therefore I need radical eight. No big deal, that's fine. Comma, open parentheses, zero, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to, go to the calculator, the square root of eight. Nice. Let's close this. Oh, nice, it goes up there. Now the idea is we want to take all that piece inside and we want to rotate it around the Y axis. So the first thing we need to do is if we're going to talk about rotations, we need a slider that goes from zero to 360. Write the letter N, type the letter N, and then click on the three dots. Click on the three dots. Whoops. Sorry, N, enter. Then click on the three dots, settings. Um, you're going to need this basic slider, color, position. Go to slider. If you have to change the color, go, go crazy. Um, I don't care. The slider, we're going to start at zero. Uh, oh, whoops. Back to basic. Sorry. I apologize. Okay. Slider. Don't hit enter. Don't hit enter until you're ready to leave the screen. Go to zero, two pi, or pi. The increment is going to be pi divided by 180. Now you can enter. You see the slider is from zero to 6.28. Excellent. Now we're going to do something really cool. Capital S, surface, open parentheses, F of X, comma, N, comma, little y, big A, X, I, S, X, I, S, enter. Below that, you're also going to do surface. Instead of um, f of x, you're going to do g of x, open parentheses, uh, g of x, comma, n, comma, y axis, same exact way. And uh, let's x this out. Are you ready? This is kind of cool. Are you ready for this? This is going to be cool. Um, and the idea is it, the idea is it rotates it around the y axis. And you can leave it a little open. So you can, yeah, that's the idea. Um, I'm going to do a full rotation, 360 degrees. And I'm going to try to move my, I'm not really, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the idea. So it's like we have a parabola inside a parabola. And it's like, yeah. And so imagine like you gave your, your mom a vase for like her birthday or something. That's the idea. And so the question we're going to be doing is, let me put, let me have some fun. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing is, let me speed this up a little. The idea what we're going to be doing is what is the volume? What's the volume of, of uh, you know, how much, what's the volume of the clay needed? You know, what's the volume? If we rotate something around the y-axis, we can do around the x-axis. What's the volume? This is a little rough, I, you know, so that's the idea. And uh, that's what we're going to be exploring. So let's pause this. What you can do is, yeah, have fun. So you, so once again, Y green, perfect. Um, I'm going to take out the G. Yeah, so, the, yes. Um, you can clearly, sorry, you can make your own thing, something very, let's start with something basic. You can fool around with this. You can, uh, you know, let me take all this out. Um, and we can click, you know, something, well, H of, sorry, H of eight, sorry, sorry, guys, H of X equals, equals X plus two. And then we do, sorry, comma, open parentheses, um, zero. You can ignore this part of the video. X to three. Okay. And the idea is you can rotate this around the x-axis. You can do surface, open parentheses, um, h of x, comma n, comma, uh, you know, x-axis. Let's move the slider back to zero. 
and you can see the point of this unit. So what's going on here? We want to take that and just rotate it around the X axis. And the question is now, like, here's a big bowl you've made. The question is, what is the volume in the, in this basket you've made? What's the full volume? And that's what we're going to be exploring. Okay. Have fun. Make, make your own images and make some really cool designs.